Welcome to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. Use the power of discovering new habits to create success in all areas of life. Body, fitness and nutrition, being, spirituality, passion and purpose, balance, marriage, kids and relationships, business, marketing, sales, leadership and systems. Transform your life by learning how habits work. And now your host, a husband, father, entrepreneur, trainer, coach and warrior. Jesse Yule. Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Yule, and today we're going to be talking about the habit of sexual performance. Uh, I'm joined by Dustin Wolf, who is the CEO of Launch Medical. He is the co founder and co creator of The Rocket. And uh, hey, man, I just want to welcome you on the show today. Well, I appreciate you having me on, Jesse. Uh, I love these opportunities to, um, you know, to talk about uh, exactly what we're going to go into, kind of educate the general public on the science and technology behind, you know, what we're doing here and actually what's been around for two decades in Europe. And, you know, hardly anybody's even heard of this at this point. So um, I appreciate you having me on and um, I'm ready to go when you are. Yeah, so let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about the habit of sexual performance. Um, you've created um, this this uh, product called the Rocket. Mm-hmm. Um, but before we get into that, can you uh, kind of start me at your story from at the beginning, and and we'll kind of lead into um, where you're at today. Yeah, uh, you know it's it, you know as we were talking before is uh, a lot of what led up to the Rocket is just an entrepreneurial spirit, right? So, um, you know, I'd love to kind of get the story out there about perseverance and, you know, over the years, I mean, in the last 20 years, you know, I've started and unfortunately, you know, uh, closed probably a dozen businesses over the years, various different industries, you know, and uh, just, uh, but every single time, and I mean, using money that like, I really shouldn't have been spending. I mean, I'm talking like, down to like our last five hundred dollars, and I mean, my amazing partner and, and and wife Stephanie like always supported me. So, um, but every single time, it's important to understand that I learned something, right? I learned something every single time. So it wasn't a failure; it was more of just stepping stones and blocks. And dude, it's hard, dude. When you like, when you put all your effort and and then what little money you have, I'm I mean, I'm talking, you know, when I was twenty five years old, five hundred dollars is a lot of money to a kid. Right. And I was raising, I had babies, dude. We had two babies. We had two kids. So $500 was like a major, major investment for us, you know, right. $1,000. And over the years, I got a little more, you know, $5,000, $10,000. But every single time, you know, she had my, she had my back. She's like, she may not have understood the business model, but she's like, go for it. I support you. So it's important to understand that having a, you know, a good partner in that support is, is a big deal. But, um, I learned something every time. And over the years, uh, the risk got higher and higher and, you know, failed and learned and picked myself up and, uh, and got back on the horse, right? Just like you do. So, um, which is what eventually led up to um, us owning the largest sexual performance clinic in North America. What I mean by that is if you've heard of Gaines Wave or Lasara, some of these other like Boston medical groups, you know, they all do these, you know, shockwave therapy treatments using acoustic wave technology to increase blood flow and enhance, uh, you know, sexual performance, right? It's absolutely real. There's 20 years of clinical studies that back up this technology, um, and it really does work. So a few years ago, uh, we started our clinic here in Southern California. We're in Studio City, uh, and it's called Novus, and we do a good amount of shockwave therapy. We also do like the P-shot and exosomes and you know, we do hormone balancing, you know, TRT and stuff like that, peptides. Um, but, you know, a majority of our business is, you know, founded around and based around, uh, you know, acoustic wave or shockwave uh, technology. So we okay. do we do a ton of this stuff. You know, it's uh, I mean, we do 25 treatments a day. <laughs> it's pretty popular. Wow. That's that's a lot, man. <laughs> Let's put it this way. There are a lot of dicks that come through my clinic every day. So you you still do you still do this every day. Sure. As it is right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, over the you know, and I quickly figured out after about a year and a half of doing this. I mean, as you may know, coming into a clinic, 
is uh, and, and doing these shockwave treatments can be very expensive. You know, we're talking on average, on a national average, but the, the full protocol of doing six treatments is roughly $3,000, right? right? And then it just goes up from there. You know, if you do 12 treatments and go to six grand, 10 grand, 12 grand, you start throwing P shots in there and stuff. Um, that stuff can really, really add up, right? So um, the reality is this, is for every hundred guys that would call here, maybe one or two could really afford to come into the clinic, even if they lived around, you know, if they lived around here and actually do this type of treatment, right? Right. So I got tired of like I, over and over and over, over months and years, just, you know, hearing guys get excited about this on the phone and they call my staff and they, you know, and then as soon as we would tell them how much it would cost or a range of what it would just kind of cost, we always bring them in for a consultation before we decide on a protocol, but everybody wants to know how much does this cost? Because of course it's not covered by insurance, right? Right. So, and nothing natural is or anything that works anyway, unless it's a drug. But, um, and as soon as I tell them or my staff would tell them, like you could hear most of these guys, the, the wind just come out of their sails, right? They really get excited about this type of treatment and they, they've done their research and they're educated on it. They understand that, you know, there's no downtime or no side effects, you know, just all positive benefits when you're talking about, you know, increasing your sexual performance using this acoustic or sonic wave technology. So that's what led us to the rocket. Yeah. So, so let's back up a little bit. Um, yeah. I've done, you know, the, the gains wave treatment. Yeah. Uh, I first did it like three years ago. Yeah. Um, and I actually went to a female doctor, which was like, at first I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I went, I went not necessarily because, you know, I had an issue with ED. I went because it's like, Hey, you know, I don't feel quite like I did when I was like 21 or 20. Well, if you're 30 or 40, the reality is you're not 18 anymore. Right. And so mine was like, okay, I want to, I want to feel kind of like I did when I was like 20, 21, 22. And I, I really went for performance and I didn't think it was actually like, is this real or not? You know? And, and so I went kind of like as this, Hey, I'm just going to go check it out and see what happens. Yeah. Um, and so I ended up doing the PRP and uh, the gains wave. And I think I did three treatments over like a 10 day period. And I yeah. think that back then they were still kind of trying to figure out how the many protocols. Yeah. yeah, treatments you're supposed to do. But I could tell right away, man, that like it worked. Yeah. Yeah. It's the real deal. So um, it's funny, like, <laughs> like I own three of these very expensive medical grade devices, right? And like, you would think I would do this stuff every day, which which would be overkill, right? Which we'll get into right. the why, you know, like that'd be like doing chest day every single day. It's, yeah. You don't do that, right? You got to give your body time to recover. But um, going back into the science and, uh, you know, a lot of guys are like skeptical about this kind of stuff because they've never heard of it. They call their doctor, they go in their doctor, like, hey, what do you know about low intensity shockwave therapy? And they're asking a general practitioner, the guy's like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of that. The reality is this, guys, and, and you might have heard Jesse talk about this before, but sonic wave or low intensity shockwave therapy has been around for sexual performance for two decades in Europe, right? They do this all over Europe. In fact, it's extremely common. And my prediction is in the next five to 10 years, you're going to see one of these machines in most of the general practitioners' offices around the country. But um, the science is, is absolutely proven behind this. And the the two reasons of what makes it most effective and what it does is one, as we age, like you just said, you know, I don't feel like I'm 20 years old anymore. Of course, none of us do. Um, we start to build up what's called micro plaque in the blood vessels, right, uh, of the penis. So what that means is I'm not talking about, you know, arteries or, you know, or veins. The, the, the blood vessels in the penis are the second smallest in the body next to the ones behind the eyes. So what happens is those are the ones that tend to go first, like people's eyesight starts to go. Right. The blood vessels get clogged up. So imagine like just a clogged pipe, right? Over time, and I don't care, like you, you obviously you're in great shape. I lift, you know, five, six days a week. I eat healthy. Um, it doesn't really, it, you know, over time, it doesn't really matter. You're going to get, you're going to get this micro plaque that builds up in the blood vessels of the penis. And 
eventually it just slows the blood flow and can even stop the blood flow if you live an unhealthy lifestyle earlier and earlier, you know, in your, in your age. But, you know, I get guys that come in here in great shape. They're 40 years old. They're like, man, it seems like I'm like a seven out of a 10 and I want to be a 10, you know? And uh, a lot of these guys, they're not, you know, they don't, they're not experiencing any major ED issues, but they can just tell, you know, they're, you know, they're 40, 50 years old. They're not like they were when they're 20, 25, 30 years old anymore. So one is the micro plaque that the sound waves safely break up and clear out of the blood vessel, opening that blood vessel up naturally, with no side effects. And two is it, it promotes and causes a, a process called angiogenesis, which is the formation, as you know, of new blood vessels and new tissue. So, you know, forgive me if make, for making this analogy, but a lot of guys understand it is this. I call sonic wave or low intensity shock wave therapy for sexual performance. Uh, it, it's like taking your dick to the gym. Like literally, it's like, like using it as a muscle because in a safe, efficacious way, it causes what's called micro trauma. Just like when you're doing heavy bench or heavy curls or heavy squats, anything like that, you're tearing those muscle fibers down in a safe, efficacious way for the purposes of rebuilding new tissue, right? This right. is the exact same thing, exactly the same thing. These, these shock waves call, uh, cause micro trauma, right? Okay. That tells the body. So what happens when you do, you get on the floor and you do a hundred pushups, right? When you're finished, like you're, you got to, I mean, you're swollen like that. Your, your blood is rushing to your pecs, to your tries and to your shoulders because your, your brain, what you did, you just told your brain to send blood flow to that area because you caused micro trauma. That right. pump is no accident, right? That your, your body's really smart. Your brain's like send blood flow there. You know, you do, you know, you know, 40 sets of curls, right? Dumbbells, you know, easy curls. It doesn't matter. Like you're going to get blood flow rushing to that area. That's exactly what these sonic waves do. It pushes blood flow to that area, which have growth factors and fibroblasts in your plasma to repair this tissue, clear out any blockages, right? right. Exactly what this technology does. It's been proven to do it. You guys hear about it all the time now. It's all over the radio. You're starting to see, you just Google shockwave therapy for, you know, for performance or blood flow enhancement. And it's starting to get everywhere, which is cool because guys that may not feel like they're a 10 might resort to, you know, these vasodilators like sildenafil, you know, like, you know, uh, Cialis, uh, Cialis, some of these other ones, right. Or they're buying these weird ass rhino pills and gas stations and shit, you know, stuff like that. Like this makes it so they don't have to do that. Right. And uh, again, the side effects, the side effects of Cialis, you know, Viagra, these other things are, are like, dude, you could have heart attack. Like dude, some people die. You never hear yeah. about it though, but do people die from this stuff, you know? Yeah. So, so and, and we know those are just band-aids, right? It's not, it's not fixing the root issue, which is collapsed blood vessels or weak blood vessels, weakening blood vessels and plaque buildup. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, kind of specific, like how is this different than, you know, taking these, you know, so-called sex pills, like, you know, Viagra, Cialis, sure. you know, um, well, this is different. Yeah, so go ahead. Different in the way that, so imagine, so I'm 44 years old and I say I've never done any, any, done any shockwave therapy or anything like that. Um, if you can imagine like a blood vessel looks like a pipe, you're staring down the pipe, like a copper pipe or whatever water pipeline, right? You know, when you're 18, it's really clean, right? As we age, again, no matter how well you eat or how much you exercise, you're going to get microplaque that builds up on the interior walls of these blood vessels. And eventually it's more and more and more and more. And what it does is this. It constricts the blood flow, right? And eventually it just stops. It might be when you're 90, but sooner or later it's going to happen to all of us unless we do something about it. Um, so what happens is the drugs dilate the blood vessel and open it up like this temporarily, right? Yeah. So, but guess what? Guess what's still on the inside of that the, that blood plaque. Vessel, that plaque still there. So, in two hours or one hour or four hours, whenever those drugs leave the body, you're left with this, right? So, what the sound waves do is they come in and it safely penetrates the tissue, di getting into the and disrupting the blood vessels in a safe way and breaking up that micro plaque, so it can just get filtered out through the kidneys. That's the difference. These drugs are just band-aids, right? They're all temporary. And guess what, guys? I'll tell you right now. Eventually, so I own the North America's largest male performance clinic, 
And I've, we've treated thousands and thousands of guys and every single one of them that takes these type of medications tells me the same thing. Guess what? They stop working eventually. Yeah. Or you got to take more. Or you gotta, or you gotta take, and again, even if you take more, eventually it doesn't work. You yeah. Know? And then you're talking about major, so major side effects on these yeah, pills. Like what's the side effect of shockwave therapy? None. Okay. Zero. You know, other than some guys, the older, so the older we get, the thinner our skin gets. So, you know, we do a lot of guys that are 50, 60, 70, even a few guys in their 80s. And we can tell that the older they get, the, 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 the skin is thinner. So they might have some minor, minor, minor bruising, uh, which goes away. It doesn't hurt. Uh, the bruises don't hurt, but it might, you know, break a couple of, uh, you know, topical, you know, blood vessels or something like that. But those are it's generally guys beyond 60, 65 years old so but it goes away in a couple of days other than that there's literally no side effects guys can have sex that night okay yeah, yeah. so so the uh the the real root cause of you know us you know in not increasing our performance you're saying is is this plaque that we build up inside those blood yeah. vessels um and they get constricted and yeah. what you're saying is this rocket or shockwave sound this sound wave therapy actually gets rid of that yes for uh for a certain period of time or i'm glad you asked so so let's talk about that here's what i tell you know, all rocket customers and, and and all of my patients that come into this clinic think about this like going to the dentist right so no matter how i brush my teeth twice a day i floss once a day I use mouthwash twice a day i eat pretty clean you know, uh, but guess what? I still have to go to the dentist so the dentist can clean my teeth, right? right? No matter what, I don't care how much you brush, you still get plaque buildup on your teeth. And we go to the dentist twice a year, hopefully. They get in there, they got to get behind and scrape real good, right? They get in there and you can feel your teeth, like all of a sudden you feel the back of your teeth again. You're like, whoa, it's been six months or a year or whatever, right? This is the same thing. In fact, that plaque that gets on your teeth, guess where else that plaque's going? That's exact, it's the exact same plaque that's in the blood vessels of the penis, all right? So I tell these guys, I'm like, look, this is something that should become part of your just, you know, male wellness routine, right? Yeah, just say lifestyle. Lifestyle, man. This should be part of your, your, your lifestyle, your enhancement or performance enhancing lifestyle, right? It's like going to the gym, it's eating right, it's drinking a lot of water, it's getting enough sleep, don't abuse drugs, lay off the alcohol, you know, that kind of stuff, right? So. Uh, to answer your question, to be to be very specific, this is sh shockwave or soundwave therapy is something that every guy should be introducing, you know, in, into their life at some point. So, how often uh, do you recommend? Like, what's the protocol to this? Uh, I know there's a lot of different stuff out there. Yeah, yeah. So here, what what's the protocol? Yeah. So the protocol is going to vary from from guy to guy. So we have like categories, right? So let's talk about mo you know your audience or most of your your audience here. Um, you know you know performance you know enhancing guys I call them or biohackers whatever you want to call them. They're generally in pretty good shape. They generally eat right. You know they they're always looking to optimize here and there. Um, for you guys that you know are you know an, an eight or a nine out of a ten on a, an interaction score, like dude I'm good. You know everything's cool. I just want that one you know that little ten percent. But you know the standard protocol is six treatments and. They're done once to twice per week, right? Yeah. After that, as needed, once a month, twice a month, um, you know, and that's completely fine. You know, uh, doing it every day, again, would be ridiculous because that's like doing heavy bench every day. You would never do that. You got to allow the body time to recover. Yeah, I did so, that when I was like 17. <laughs> yeah, we were all dumb kids, right? Of course we did. So uh, I remember too. But yeah, for, you know, for these guys that are an eight to 10, you know, six treatments and they're generally, you know, good. And then once a month after that, maybe every six months doing another six treatments, uh, you know, is, is perfectly okay. You know, for, for our guys that are, they get into their 50s, 60s, and 70s, they might be, you know, 30, 40 pounds overweight. Uh, they got to clean up their lifestyle a little bit, clean up their diet. They generally need more treatments. Um, but yeah, so, you know, the, 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 the widely accepted protocol is six treatments and the treatments are done once or twice per week. Okay. So, and you're saying, you know, normally if, if somebody went gains wave, yeah, 
you know, six treatments, you're looking at like three thousand dollars or Dude, more. Yeah. So let's so let's talk about that for a minute. Now we'll talk about you know, kind of inform your audience on how the rocket was born, right? So I myself, you know, uh, we used to be a Gainsway provider. We do our own, you know, pr- we do our own protocols now, which we think are are, are the best in the country, of course, but. Uh, we do so much volume here that we've been able to enhance some of these protocols. Um, so if you're talking about in-clinic shockwave treatments like a Gaines Wave or some of these other guys, um, you know, the standard protocol six treatments, you're looking at three grand, $3,000. And then, like I just said, once a month or, you know, doing you know, another sequence of six treatments in six months, that's another three grand. It's another three grand. And it just adds up and adds up and adds up. Look. I'm not rich. I'll tell you right now. I do okay, but listen, three grand is a lot of money to me. That's a no, that's a good chunk of change. Oh, dude, over a year, that's twelve, twelve yeah. grand. Yeah, dude, you're talking. You know, you do this every quarter. That's twelve thousand dollars, man. You know, look, I got kids to feed. We want to go on vacation. You know, it's a lot of money. It literally excludes ninety eight percent of the of the general population. Okay, so um, now let's back up about two and a half years ago to um, how the rocket was born and I'll tell you. So we created the rocket for um, for three reasons. One is to, uh, actually four reasons. It, it's an extremely disruptive technology that does the exact same thing as these in-clinic, very ex- 40, 50, $60,000 medical devices do in clinics like mine all over the country, okay? Reduce the cost. I mean, d- down to a small fraction of what these in-clinic treatments uh, cost. Number two, um, it removes the embarrassment factor, right? Even right. For guys, even for guys like you and I that are like, listen, I'm, our clinics in LA, dude. Like every girl here in the city is hot, right? So like all the girls that work in my clinic are just they're pretty girls, right? So if you imagine like me or you walking in, yeah, my name is Dustin Wolf. I'm here for my shockwave treatment. Like, and there's just pretty girls sitting behind the desk. It's just like it gets awkward. It can be sort of embarrassing. So the rocket removes. The embarrassing factor because now you can do this exact same treatment in the privacy of your own home whenever you want right and then three uh is the proximity right so let's say i'm not ashamed or embarrassed okay cool whatever man i got you know i make millions and millions of dollars which i don't and uh but i, I don't live anywhere near one of these treatment facilities because they're just you know they're not everywhere let's say i live in whatever topeka kansas and there isn't one within 500 miles of me not right. drive drives 500 miles away once a week or twice a week to go get this done right so proximity so one is we've massively reduced the cost with the rocket and i'll get into the technology in a minute two we've removed the embarrassment factor because now you can do this exact same thing in the privacy of your own home and three proximity like it doesn't matter where you live now we could ship this discreetly to your front door in you know in two days so going back two and a half years ago i got tired of you know, these guys that would call the clinic and like, as soon as I told them how much it costs, like I could hear most of them in fact, 95, 98% of them, I could hear the wind just come out of their sails because they're all excited to do this and heard about this. And I heard it can make me better. And, you know, and, and you know, having like marital issues or whatever, I've, I've heard and seen everything as you can imagine. And I just got tired of them telling me no, or me saying, I'm sorry. Like we just, there's nothing I can do. Hey, Jet, I'm just going to speak from the heart. Like it really started to like, fuck with my head right right so i'm like this i'm like this is such an you've had it done i've had it this is such an easy thing to you've seen it to administer and it's topical it's non-invasive and you actually don't have to have a medical license to administer this did you know that you gotta have a medical license to buy the devices but you don't i, mean, I could have a personal yeah. trainer administer these in my clinic all day long i mean we have we have certified nurses but Dude, you don't have to have a medical license to actually administer this type of therapy because it's classified as non-invasive and it's a class one device, right? So it's it's no needles or anything like that, it's completely safe. So I sat my wife down and I said, look, we got to do something. There has to be a way to help everybody, right? Affordably. And so the, the whole idea of the home use device and the rocket was born about two and a half years ago. Fast forward about six months and I'm a big believer in 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 manifestation and destiny in creating your own life and your world. So six months later, this guy walks into my office and he's an inventor, right? He was here to do some op, some hormone optimization, but um, find out he's an inventor. I get to know him, find out he's an inventor, and I'm like, 
oh, you're an inventor? He's like, I've spent 30 years developing intellectual property, filing patents. He's done, he's brought, you know, uh, uh, products to life, to market, you know, exit plans, stuff like that. Long story short is uh, we bring him in to launch medical as a partner and I fully give him credit. Um, his name's John Hoffman. Like he literally invented this technology, which I'll tell you about that does the exact, the exact same thing with the exact same energy signature that these ex very expensive high end medical grade devices do all over the world, right? These European devices. And uh, he did it. And we've clinically validated and clinically tested over the last two years, 27 prototypes we've gone through, 27. Wow. And I'll tell you more than six figures of, of my, my own money, my family sure. and his money we have in this, right? We're seven figures into the perfection of this shockwave technology that is now affordable and can be used in the privacy of your own home with no side effects and no downtime. So to dig in a little deeper, as you can imagine, two and a half years ago, I started making a list of every single guy that called here that couldn't afford this. Because I knew one day I was going to be able to call them. I was going to say, guess what, Tom? Would you like to get shockwave treatments absolutely free? Do you want to be a beta tester for the rocket? What do you think every one of them said? They're like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. When can I start? Yeah. So it's important for your audience to understand that this wasn't a science experiment. We actually went through two years of clinical treatments, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sessions through 27 prototypes to what now is the final model of the rocket, which I'll show you in a minute. And each, you know, every single treatment session, the subject, the, the, the patient, the beta tester was surveyed, right? Every single time along the way, most of them got anywhere from six to 24 treatments, right? And we, we, we had them take what's called a SHIM score, right? Which is the sexual health in men SHIM, S-H-I-M score. It basically measured the quality of their erections. And over 90% of them, we saw them jump from week to week to week to week to week and rise, 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 rise right? So um, we clinically validated this technology, which now has four uh, global patents pending all around the world. Uh, uh, for the technology inside the device. And here we are, man, like we're, we're in market, we're in production and, uh, you know, we're taking this thing to the world and we've been all over the Southwest and we have big interviews scheduled back East and, and, uh, some, you know, some major podcasts coming up and, but, uh, it's the real deal and it's called the rocket. And listen, I would never, I was, my, I didn't come from money. Like when I was, like when I was a kid, I was, I was raised in a trailer park. So, but my parents, were you know low low middle income you know blue you know blue collar working you know but very hard working parents and they instilled a lot of you know hard work ethic in me and you know morals and integrity i would never put a product on the market that wasn't safe and didn't work i've used this thing more times than i care to admit because i would never ever in a million years let somebody put something on their body or in their body that i didn't personally believe in right, right. So um, I'll show it to you now. This, let me hold it back. This is what it looks like, okay? And if you're, if you know what the, you know what the machines look like in the clinics, right? Yeah. And probably some of your, your, your listeners do. But basically, this tip right here is stainless steel, and it emits the shock wave, the sound wave, which penetrates the tissue, right? Breaking up any blockages in the blood vessels and causing microtrauma to restore and regrow new blood vessels. Right. This is what it looks like. So any questions so far? Yeah. I mean, as far as as far as that goes, yeah. um, you know, I know I know the big thing is, is, um, you know, gains wave. Mm -hmm. But like this, this same method is this being used now on joints, uh, ligaments mm -hmm. and tendon? Have you have you tested any of that um, with? kind of this this rocket or or any of this other stuff we've actually done so um you bring up a good point absolutely low intensity shockwave therapy has been used to repair soft tissue damage for actually much longer than it's been used to enhance sexual performance actually almost 40 years going back 40 years ago very you know 
um, at the very beginning of the shockwave movement, doctors were using it on patients that had plantar fasciitis, as you know, soft, uh, to repair soft tissue, tissue damage, and to remove scar tissue, right? So the answer is yes, the rocket puts out the exact same energy signature as these medical grade devices do, which can be used anywhere on the body, right? So in the near future, I would say next year sometime, we're, we're gonna come out with, um, with, the, with the product for soft tissue repair, right? Or plantar fasciitis, you know, we're gonna go into, you know, medical clinics and things like that. It'll have a different um, package around this, right? With different, see there's protocols built into this, right? Specifically for sexual performance. Okay. So when we actually, so when we come out with a clinical device for soft tissue repair, It'll have a different case on it. It'll have different protocols built into it, right? But it's the exact same tech. It'll be the exact same technology that's inside this device. Okay. So how many protocols are built into that right now? Right now, it's just one standard protocol. And okay. so it's what, it's what it's designed to do might be a little hard, but you can go to our website and see, see more of this. But basically, um, these are what we call, because it's called a rocket, uh, these are what I call the runway lights, these blue LEDs on the, on the edges. And what this tells the user is how fast or how slow they should be moving the rocket along the tissue, right? Okay. From the base to the tip and back, right? And you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it with the light. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, got, it's, got, it's, got a, it's got a counter right here that tells you exactly how many passes on the quadrant, right, of the shaft you have done and how many you have left. Okay. This light will turn. This light will turn red when you're done, and this light will turn green. It's time to move. So, and so all these every, every treatment you have so many of those things is what you're saying. That's correct. So the protocol is this: we've built into this. Um, uh, it's it's two times around, and and all these instructions are on the website, which we'll get to in a minute. But basically, it's twice around, and the entire thing is fifteen thousand pulses. So. Okay. The average shockwave treatment uh, session that we do here is anywhere from 12,000 to 15,000 pulses. So that's how we designed the protocol to be built into this. It gets better. So, you know, and it, we're, we're very aware and conscious of safety. So I know these biohackers out there, these crazy guys, you know, I, I, when I was uh, working on this with our engineering team, I'm like, we have to have a shutoff. Uh, a timeout session in here because otherwise you're going to get these crazy guys that are like, well, more is better, more is better. They're going to do this every day, all day long. So, and for liability reasons, as you can imagine, once you've done one complete treatment cycle of this, it will not turn on again for 36 hours. Okay. Okay. And it will actually count how many total pulses you've actually done over the lifetime of the device. Okay. So look, you're going to get these whiz kids that can hack into this thing and try to, you know, you know, make this thing run or the simple solution or, or beyond or around this is just to buy two rockets, like whatever, like we're, we, we do, we're going to do everything we can to protect the general public from themselves. Right. The reality is this, if you use shockwave therapy every single day, there's no benefit to that, right? Cause you have to allow your body to yeah, repair, you got to repair, man. Right. So guys out there, don't get crazy and buy three or four rockets and, and start using this thing every day. Right. So um, you're not going to get, you're not, you're not going to see any benefit from that. So one rocket is designed to do one full treatment, Shut off for 36 hours, then you can do treatment, treatment, treatment. And the reality is this last, the, the, the last prototype that we went before we went into production had done 50, 60, 75 treatments. I think we just lost count. Like we couldn't even, I was trying to break it. We couldn't break it, right? Which is good news because let's say you get 50 treatments out of this thing at $500 per treatment. What is that? 25 grand? If you were going into a clinic? 500 bucks yeah, sure man yeah that's twenty five thousand dollars worth of treatments if you're going to pay 500 bucks a pop you know at a minimum if you're getting 50 treatments you can just see the value so um yeah that's kind of it in a nutshell with this i mean there's a lot that have gone that's gone into this we have a wall you know a prototype wall of fame of you know the very first prototype which looked like i call frankenstein and had like wires it was it was like this big and it had like these crazy like springs and wires and shit coming out of it and you know my partner john's like don't worry about what it looks like this was two and a half years ago you know so so is this this is your final one is it only in black or is it coming white this is the final version it's in black and i wanted it in black because i think this, is, this looks really slick 
And uh, yeah, know, I gotta be honest, it kind of looks like a black dildo. Uh, <laughs> but it looks uh, like a black, yeah. Do not stick this up your ass, guys. Yeah. Um, no, so when you see the design on the website, you know, this, uh, you know, when you're talking about the technology and, and what this does, we were working within the constraints of the this the pared down, skinny down version, right? When you if you've seen, if I showed you all the prototypes, man, they were like huge, right? They looked yeah. not like they looked nothing like this. Yeah, that looks so, like something from like Darth Vader, dude. No, it's, I, it's I tell cool. people like if if Apple or Elon Musk built a rocket, like this is what it would look like, you know? Yeah. No, it looks so, amazing. So let me ask you this, like, uh, can only men use this and get uh, the benefit or can women use that? Or do you have uh, something for females similar? Or is that something you're working on? So are you talking about sexual performance? Yeah, just like I know, uh, I know some doctors have been using the gains wave on women. Yeah. Um, you know. So, so the answer is yes, although it's a it's more of a delicate situation. The nerve endings in the female anatomy are a lot more sensitive than guys. So when you're talking about shock waves hitting, you know, the clitoris, like these girls like jump and it can, it can have the same effect. It will cause microtrauma. It will increase blood flow. And, and females, when you're increasing blood flow, it increases lubrication. So right. the short answer is yes. I will tell you right now, the rocket was not designed for women. Okay. Right. So, I've already had a bunch of guys call me like, I'm going to use this on my wife. I'm like, I'm, I'm not telling you that that's okay or that, that you should do that. Right. But the, an the short answer is the rocket was not designed for females. Or do we have a product for women on the roadmap? Yes, we do. Right. It'll probably be towards the end of this year. But you should also know that this exact same technology in this device and in these other you know, clinical devices all over the, the world removes cellulite which oh, is wow. huge. So before we come out with a sexual performance uh, device for women, we're actually on the roadmap at the end of the year, we're coming out with a cellulite removal device using the exact same technology. It will be in a different shape, form factor, technology protocols, right? But it'll have the exact same guts in it that does the same thing. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So we can't wait. So we're going to start clinical. So our clinic here in Southern California, we also work on a lot of women, you know, weight loss, hormones, stuff like that, PRP, hair restoration. So we have probably 50 women or 100 women that are already like, when can I start? When can I start? Okay. So we'll get into that too. It's safe. It does work. I mean, you can't eat like shit and shit and be 300 pounds and expect, you know, great results. But this is for, this is for women who have that, just that stubborn you know, and, and most women get it. I see a me women that are in great shape, dude. They're 30, 40, 50 years old. They work out every day. They do everything. They just have that lip, just to, that last, you know, stubborn, just right here on the back of the thighs. They just want to get rid of, you know, so um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it's perfectly normal. Sure. So how long does each treatment take? Each treatment, I personally time this and my, I, all my nurses that were doing all the clinical uh, studies with our patients takes anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. There's no downtime. You can have sex that night, you know? So um, I will say this though, I should throw this out there, that the proper protocol to using the shockwave technology to maximize benefits, the benefit is using a vacuum pump uh, in between treatments. And what I mean by that's the standard vacuum penis pump. And what that does is it pulls, obviously pulls blood flow into the shaft to help repair the tissue. And the protocol is this, twice a day for 10 minutes for six weeks. Oh, shit. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So let me, like, I want to back up on this because a yeah. lot of guys that I talk to are kind of freaked out when they talk about penis pumps and like. It's an know, exercise, uh, man. Yeah. But it's so, so the, the things that enhance the treatment the most are the penis pump. Um, mm -hmm. And do you got, obviously, if these are things you can do at home, so there's that of side of it. Of course. Uh, but like a penis pump is basically kind of like doing a bicep curl or doing a tricep extension. It's like, hey, if you want to, if you want to build bigger muscles, you got to get more blood flow into that area. And this 100%. Penis pump does the same thing. It does the same thing. So think about it like this too. If you're causing microtrauma to the tissue, 
Um, you know, a lot of these guys, they'll jump in a sauna or something like that after the gym. And what that's doing is getting that blood flow going, right? Like I would say, so I have a, I have an infrared sauna in my bedroom, right? You can actually, they're very cost effective. A lot of guys, I'm telling you, I got it on Amazon for like 800 bucks. Like it's yeah. a little one person and it works, man. Like it gets up to 135 degrees, five minutes. I'm just pouring sweat and it sits in the corner, man. It's only like, you know, it's like five, it's like six feet tall. Like it's so easy. And it comes, you know, four sides, it's got a base, four sides. You put it together in like 30 minutes. Anyway, I do an infrared, I do the infrared sauna four or five days a week, right after the gym, right? Just to get the blood flow going. So this is what this does. That's what a penis pump does is pulls blood flow um, and it dilates the blood vessels, helps clear out any blockages, any plaque blockages. And you're, again, you're feeding the tissue that, uh, that rich oxygenated blood, which carries your plasma, which has your growth factors and fibroblasts in it. Those, those are the amino acids and all the, you know, your own stem cells that get in there and they help start repairing the tissue. So you, you do this penis pump like every day is like, part no, of no, no, no. I do it once a week now. Just, you know, just being candid here every Sunday is kind of like they call, I call, you know, you see it on Instagram, whatever self-care Sunday. So every Sunday I still do the penis pump once for 10 minutes, just one time. But if I'm going through a six treatment protocol, which I do do once or twice a year, I will absolutely use it as much as I possibly can stick to the protocol of twice a day for 10 minutes for six weeks. Okay. Now, it's damn near impossible to get all that in, but if you can hit 80% of that. So what have you, what have you seen for results for yourself? Like doing that? The penis pump or the, or the. Well, pump? obviously like the six week, you know, the, the rocket for six weeks and mm-hmm. the penis pump with that for six weeks. Cause I'm guessing you've probably done both without the penis pump and with the penis pump. I've done both both here's what I'll tell you the proven protocol that's been undeniably successful over the last 20 years involves the pump so you know if guys are scared I will tell you you'll still get benefit assuming that you're in generally good health you'll still get benefit from the rocket or if you go in and do these in-clinic treatments without doing the pump but you should actually be doing the pump in uh, in between treatments uh, to enhance the results. I would say if I had to put a number on it, Jesse, it would probably be, this is pretty big, like 30% more, 30% better results if you follow the pump protocol. And guys are cheap, they're like 30 bucks, you know I mean? I mean, there's very expensive pumps that cost hundreds of dollars, but you guys can pick up a pump on Amazon or even on our site for like $28. Okay. Is there a pump that you recommend over another or? No, I mean, not really. We sell one. We, we, we have one manufactured for us. We sell it in conjunction with the, you know, I mean, just the only, the only thing I would say is get one with a gauge on it, right? A PSI gauge. And, uh, and guys remember this. Um, there's no, <laughs> there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. So um, don't go over 10 PSI on the on the gauge that's more than enough in fact it can start to get uncomfortable all you need to do is you know between five and ten psi on the on the on the pump and some guys don't even need that like three psi is plenty you know what i mean but you know what i've seen in the last four years i've been doing this is guys that come through here and i tell them don't i make them sign waivers and everything you know for everything and um we coach them and do consultations some guys are just like, you know, they're crazy and they'll, they'll pump for like up to like 20 PSI for like an hour. And that can actually not only be uncomfortable, you can have, you can cause damage, right? So just take it easy. Start with five PSI twice a day for 10 minutes. If you're going through these uh, shockwave treatments. Okay. And then uh, as far as PRP, yeah, uh, do you, do you do that with this like yourself or I know you're at the clinic, so like yeah. it's a little bit different, but like, do you recommend that for people? Absolutely. So if I'm the average guy, you, you've probably talked about this on your show before, doing the platelet-rich plasma or what's otherwise known as the P-shot. Um, God, we've done, man, we do probably two to four P-shots every day. Like boom, 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 boom. There's no side effects. It's your own plasma. It's your own body. It's your own growth factors, right? Um, I absolutely recommend it. Like if you can, if you can get a P-shot done once a year, you know, uh, do it because it totally enhances everything. 
um, helps, it just helps the healing process, helps enhance the growth of blood vessels, you know, um, it, uh, sensitivity, right? So as we age, we start to lose a little sensitivity down there. It brings back the sensitivity along with the shockwave. But I'll tell you how we do it in the clinic. And I've heard of like other clinics do it differently. We always wait till the very last treatment to do the P shot. Okay. Okay. So think about it like this. The shock waves get in there and they prep that tissue. It's turning that tissue. It's like a farmer plowing his fields, right? He's turning that soil over so he can go out there and plant seeds to grow big, tall crops, right? So I've heard of some doctors doing the P shot in the beginning, which makes no sense to me. Why would you throw growth factors on this tissue that hasn't been prepped yet? Whatever. Anyway, the way we do it is we do shockwave, 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 either a series of three, six, nine, 12, whatever the guy needs or wants. And then we do the P shot, boom, on the very last day, right after the shock yeah. treatment. So what you guys can do is if you're doing this in the clinic, um, talk to your provider, your clinician about it, but that's how we do it. Or if you buy the rocket, you can do, you know, six treatments and then boom, go in and do the P shot, you know, generally right after. But here's what I'll say. Don't ever let a provider do a P shot without having a shockwave treatment done right before the P shot. I have a lot of guys that call me and they're like, yeah, I did the P shot. It didn't really work that well. And I go, did the doctor and the nurse, did they do a, a shockwave treatment right before, I mean, right before the, the P shot, like that day within minutes. And they go, what's that? Okay. That's why. So again, for you guys out there, whether you come see me or you go to, you know, Gaines wave or these other guys, you buy the rock or whatever, don't ever do a P shot without doing a shockwave treatment right before it. Right. Okay. Because think about it, we're causing localized and controlled inflammation, therapeutic inflammation, acute inflammation on purpose, right? It's like a laser guided missile. You want that PRP, right, to be as effective as possible. So what the shock waves do is it tells the body to do what? Push blood flow to that area, right? You're signaling the body to push plasma down there. Okay. That's where you want it to stay. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, so, so give me the cost. We knew, we didn't yeah. cover that, but what's the cost let's, of the rocket? Let's talk about that. So the rocket uh, right now is selling for seven forty nine, and then plus shipping is twenty bucks. And you can buy the pump on our website as well. And okay. uh, I mean, we've, we've we have thousands of orders coming in from all over the world. We ship in every country. But <clears throat> the reality is, you know, when you look at seven hundred forty nine bucks, you're like, ah, eh, you know. But that's one and a half, you know, shockwave treatments in a clinic, right? <laughs> So yeah, for sure, it, to me, it's a steal. I mean, it's a, to me, it's a no brainer. It's just a steal. We've made it affordable for virtually everybody. And like I said, I mean, we've gone through 50, 60, 75 treatments without even breaking one of these, the last prototype. Anyway. So how many, how many uh, treatments do you get out of each one? I don't even know yet. Like dozens and dozens. I've been, this last prototype you see right here, the one that's in production, I haven't been able to break it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. The way that I understood, I read something, I thought it said you got 10 treatments. Um, I don't know where that was, but yeah, no, just for clarification there, this thing doesn't, we're not like Apple where we break your phone on purpose. So you have to yeah. buy a new one or like, the new, uh, I, we're, charger. We're, there's, there's no, you know, two years ago, we sat down when we were designing the electronics and the protocols, it did come up in discussion. Do we have a sunsetter mode? which just basically this thing shuts off after 10, 20, 30, 40 treatments. To me, it's kind of bullshit. What I'll tell you is um, over time, just like anything else, even your car, it will wear out. I mean, you're talking about an immense amount of pressure creating a shock wave over and over and over and over again for potentially hundreds of treatments. At some point, the, um, you know, the, the, the actual shockwave is going to diminish. I don't know what that point is yet, but you know, on our website, I think it says something like we guarantee effectiveness up to 24 treatments and beyond. Like, okay. What a dollar yeah, value if on you're, uh, let's be honest. Like you could pay 12 K for a year's worth of treatments from gains wave, or yeah. you could pay seven forty nine plus shipping penis pump. You're 800 bucks, 800 for bucks for this. Uh, and you yeah, can do this so. in the privacy of your own home. No right. embarrassment. Shows up in an unmarked box. No one even needs to know. You do it whenever, whenever you want, just with a 36-hour break. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about kind of the mindset that goes with this is like, 
Yeah. You know, I think you're dealing with two different types of people. You have people who want to increase sexual performance and then you have people that have, you know, ED and things like that. And yeah. those are kind of two different categories. Um, you're in, sure. where, you know, a lot of the listeners that I have, they're looking to really optimize sexual performance. It's not that there's an issue, but like I said, it kind of just for myself is like, Hey, I noticed that it wasn't quite feeling like it did when I was in my twenties. Sure. I wanted to increase my performance. I did it and it worked. Um, but what about the other side for guys who, who kind of do have, you know, they're in that 50, 55, 60 and up range. Um, what are the results for these guys? It's the same thing. They just need more treatments. Okay. Yep. So, it's, the, it's the exact same protocol. It's the exact same shockwave. Uh, they just need more treatments, you know? So instead of doing three to six, they'll do six to 12, okay. you know, and it, it might take them a little longer to start seeing results. You know, guys like you and most of your listeners, they could start seeing uh, results after just one treatment, you know? Okay, cool. So, um, yeah. And again, though, because guys that are experiencing ED issues, um, they just have more plaque built up and it has to, it just takes more time. You know what I mean? That's all. And they tend to be a little old, you know, older, I don't want to say older, they're not old, but you know, if you're 50, 60, 65 years old, you know, of course your body takes a little longer to heal. Right. So it just takes more treatments and more time. That's all. It's the exact same protocol. Okay. You know? And my guess is too, is, you know, someone who might come in, maybe overweight, bad diet, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be in that category of taking a little bit more. Yes, of course. To have so they're going to take more. It's going to take those guys even more treatments. And look, I mean, the reality is you and I know, and all your listeners know that, you know, I mean, if, if you have lifestyle issues that are seriously affecting your, the quality of your erections, like you got to make a choice here, man. Like what, what's it going to be? Is it going to be your sex life or, you know, is it going to be like living a sedentary lifestyle, eating whatever you think you want, not having to exercise, smoking, like all these things really do affect how you perform in the bedroom. So right. I tell guys all the time, look, dude, here's the reality of this. Like I, if you're hundred pounds overweight, you've been smoking for 20 years, you're diabetic and you have high blood pressure. Do me a favor. Don't buy the rocket, dude. Take that money and go get a gym membership and clean up your lifestyle because you're not going to be around to even enjoy your dick unless you clean your shit up. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, you we all, gonna, you're going to yeah. have to pull it back to even see what's going on. Yeah, you? dude, like go do that first and then buy the rocket. You know, again, going back to what this is, is, you know, if you have major lifestyle or health issues, you know, the rocket will have some effect, but nowhere near as well. The benefits is if you take care of yourself. Okay. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about like, you know, one of the big things that I see is, you know, middle-aged men, um, you know, their performance in the bedroom starts to go down, their confidence goes down. Yeah. That affects, you know, things like their business, their relationship with their wife. Like, I think for the most part, guys want to know they can please their wives, you know, and part of that is, hey, I want to know I can get an erection and like keep it. Of course. So let's talk about this for a minute. The psychology behind what's ingrained in our DNA, right? So as you know, you know, what you just mentioned, if a guy, and I, I see this every day, man, like I get 25 patients that come in here every single day that either I, you know, have met with and consulted with or my staff has. And I would say three quarters of these guys are dealing with their erectile dysfunction. The other, you know, quarter are like performance guys or whatever, or they're just, you know, curious, but the reality is this, if you're not performing in the bedroom the way that you want to perform and you're not pleasing your partner the way you want to please your partner or they want to be pleased, it's going to mess with your head. Your confidence is going to go in the shitter. It affects your business. It affects your uh, relationships. It affects uh, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the way you look, everything, right? So, and, and, and this, it, that's literally like in our DNA. Like there's nothing you can do, you know, to really ever shake that. So when that happens, guys start getting what's called performance anxiety. We all know what this is, right? Right. You know, you start, you know, having issues with, with your erections and it will get into your head. And then a couple things happen, right? Your partner uh, automatically will assume that A, you're not attracted to them, you don't love them, or you're cheating on them, or you're thinking about someone else, right? All these things happen. And it's not their fault that that really kind of fucks things up. And I would, they'll bring their wives in here and their girlfriends or their partners and, you know, and I'll look at them and I'll be like, 
Don't shame him. Right? He wants to please you as much as you want to be pleased. Right. You, shame, you shaming him makes this worse, a hundred times worse. And right. then it takes him longer to shake it. So eventually they will shake it off, but it can take a long time. Then they'll avoid, they'll even avoid sex, right? Which it just makes everything's worse. So I look right at their partner. I'll be like, do not shame him. I appreciate why you're here to support him, but be supportive, right? Don't take this personally because he wants to perform as badly as you want him to. So just help him and understand. So yes, shockwave therapy will help increase the performance of your erections, your bedroom performance, your sexual performance, which will increase a guy's confidence. Yeah, that's amazing, man. I think uh, this is something, you know, that guys don't talk about. No. At all. And, uh, and, and, you know, it's kind of one of those, it's just one of those things that you don't talk about, you don't hear about. And so I think it even kind of shames guys even more is because it's like, now I can't please my, my spouse. I can't please my partner. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, well, why even have sex or why even try? And then right. the wife's kind of like, well, I'm not getting what I want. And, and then that starts like the disconnection. Yeah. And listen, you know, I, a lot of what we do here is, you know, uh, definitely affects, you know, emotions and relationships. But um, if two people, and I say this all the time, every day, if a couple, you know, or even two single that are dating, whatever, if they're not connecting on that intimate level, which a lot, most of the time includes, you know, having sex, they're, they, they, they lose a, that connection, like you just said, right? Right. So there's just something about human beings connecting on, on that type of level that, forms a bond in a relationship, right? So it's extremely important, you know, and there are very few marriages that, unless they just can't stand each other, you know, then they got other problems, but there are very few marriages and, uh, and couples that I, that I talk to that, you know, um, are in a healthy relationship that would say that sex is not important, right? So it's very important to them, right? For most couples. So there's no, uh, there's no one. And I'd say they're full of shit if they said that. Exactly. So I'm trying to you know, leave the one or two couples out that are like, you know, whatever, don't enjoy. Yeah, they're not listening to the show anyways. <laughs> the reality is for me, you and all your listeners, like it's extremely, extremely important. If I could have sex every single day, hell yes, I would. So yeah. it's just one of those things. Again, like that's, that's what forms and keeps that bond between you and your partner. Yeah. Again, that might not be good for you though. Right. Cause too much. Too much can be too much. Yeah. So, well, hey, man, um, how can our how can the listeners find out about um, the rocket and like where can they go to get one? So, um, I mean, I definitely uh, want them to check out uh, getmyrocket.com forward slash Jesse. Right. You can go to that. And what will happen is um, there's a ton of information on there. We have a our medical director is Dr. Paul Thompson. He runs a very successful male performance clinic in uh, in Fort Dallas, Fort Worth area. He's been doing shockwave for probably 10 years. And he does a lot of it now because in the last five years, he's got really popular. He does a lot of TRT and stuff like that too. But the guy is extremely knowledgeable. He has some videos up on our website, which you can see. Um, and again, it goes over the science. At the bottom of the website, you'll see the clinical studies that have been done you know, on shockwave therapy over the last 20 years. But you can go to uh, getmyrocket.com forward slash Jesse to check everything out. Um, there's also a phone number on the website you can call, um, you know, if you do have any questions. But we, I feel like we've done a really good job of educating people on the website so they can check it out there. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, hey, I want to thank you once again for being on here. I'm yeah. actually looking forward to getting one of these. Yep. And testing it out. Yeah, the good news is, is yeah, uh, you know, anybody, you know, we come on shows like this, you know, we always send you guys a rocket so that, you know, you can, you can test it out yourself. Well, I want to do a follow up just to. Oh, 100%. Let's see, let's see what happens. So yeah, and and again, guys, uh, once you do, a lot of guys are gonna be like, I just don't understand like how to use this thing. When you purchase the rocket, there's a membership area that we give you access to, and as you can imagine, we don't put this on the front of the website, but there's literally uh, uh, demonstration videos, not on a live person, of course, but demonstration videos on, to show you exactly how to use the rocket. Yeah, I think it's on a banana, right? Or that that's that's the PG version. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but on the when you when you, after you purchase it, you have access to the membership area where you can actually see. You know, we literally it's, it's just a fucking dildo. You know what I mean? But at least it shows like a, a right. You know that we show you exactly how to use it. Yeah. So one more time. Yeah. Uh, what is 
I don't know if we covered this, but like, what is the, uh, the pain tolerance on this? And then is there a cream that you put on? Yeah. That- Good question. So, um, actually before I answer that, the energy signature, the shock wave is always transferred better and amplified through the tissue by using a, um, a light coat of a lubricant. It can be KY it's some water-based lubricant, be KY jelly. We also uh, provide uh, our customers with our own rocket lube. It's the same stuff, but we just make it convenient. You know, it shows up in the package. So that a light, and this is on, again on the demo video. So just a light coat of that. Plus it helps the tip of the, uh, of the rocket slide along the tissue. Um, getting into the pain tolerance. Every guy's, a, every guy kind of has a different sensitivity level, right? So, um, like I know, I got guys that come in here that do clinical shockwave treatments using the medical grade devices with no numbing creams. They don't like it. They don't want it. And their pain tolerance is, I don't want to say it's painful, but they just, it doesn't bother them. And then I have other guys that come in here where like, they're, they're really sensitive. And they're like, I have to have the numbing cream. You know, what I will tell you about this is the rocket is, it's been, you'll see on the website, a lot of guys are probably thinking, well, how did you calibrate it? We literally calibrated the rocket energy signature and developed it to mimic the exact same energy signature as these expensive medical rig devices do. There's a video on the website using what's called a force plate side by side showing the exact same shockwave coming out of both devices. Okay. Okay. For your audience that hasn't done an in clinic shockwave treatment, the bar setting, which is the power setting on the clinical grade devices, is anywhere. The, the protocol shows between 2.6 and 3.4, right? The higher you get, the more powerful the shock wave and the more it hurts. That doesn't mean you need that. You know, again, right. guys, not more is not always better. It doesn't right? mean it's better. It doesn't mean it's better. So what we did was we, we calibrated the rocket to be right in the middle, right? So right now, the setting on the rocket is between 2.8 and 3.0 bar, right? Which is about the average setting, right? For most guys, um, it's what I would consider maybe slightly uncomfortable, but it's not painful. You sure. definitely feel the shock wave going through the tissue, but it's not like, oh my god, I can't take it. I maybe I'm a I'm a I'm a bad candidate, but I don't use numbing cream. Um, so and I can I can get through I can get through you know a treatment. It's not a big deal. A lot of guys that have done the the rocket treatments over the last two years don't need the numbing cream some do so the answer is yes we provide no, a topical lidocaine numbing cream but the reality is if you could do without it do without it you know what i mean some guys are just going to be more sensitive so again it's to each individual if you got to use numbing cream dude no harm in that man you put it on you gotta let it set in for like 20 minutes right but most guys won't need it i don't think right yeah, that's amazing, man. Yeah. So, well, hey, I want to thank you for being on here. Yeah, man. Um, if you guys are, uh, if you guys are looking to increase your performance uh, in the bedroom, uh, add confidence, and, and all those things, like check this out because yeah. I spent easily six thousand dollars in treatments and probably only got about a year. I, I I think I used about a year's worth out of that, but just the fact that this is in a, in a price point that you could literally use this for two to three years. Oh yeah. You know, that's amazing, man. So, and I also, I want to congratulate you on the things that you're doing because thank you. um, The fact that you've taken something um, that, you know, was costing 50, $60,000 just to buy and you've put it into a product that and made it accessible for people and to be able to do it in the safety of their own home. Yeah. Hey man, that's, that's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're getting a lot of attention on it. We're actually interviewed by Forbes magazine and uh, they, they call this a billion dollar disruptive technology and we're pretty proud of that. So um, more than anything, you know, I get a lot of satisfaction out of seeing guys um, be happy and have, you know, happy marriages and, 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 you know, stand up straight and their chest is pumped out and they're, you know what I mean? They're, they feel good about themselves and, this is just something that I think eventually will become just part of male performance uh, enhancement, just, you know, men's good men's health. It's like brushing your teeth, you know? So, but thanks for having me on, man. Yeah. You guys can go check it out. Go to get forward slash Jesse, and you'll be able to, um, uh, we're actually, 
the full retail price, honestly, is $14.95. Um, we're probably going to raise that at the end of this month. Okay. So, um, if you guys are going to check it out and you want to try it, def- try to go. It's, you're getting a 50% discount if you buy it between now and the end of the month. Yeah, that's amazing. So if you guys are listening to this, make sure you go to that site. It's going to be in the show notes. Yeah. Uh, and you get one of these because you heard it first that it's going to be going up in price. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that won't be the only thing going up. <laughs> like a rocket. All right. So if you guys are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I'll be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle, check out habitbasedlifestyle.com or reach out to me, jesse, at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day.